How hard is Final Cut Pro to learn? It's not too bad. I'd say it's somewhere between eating a freshly baked chocolate chip cookie and cuddling a newborn baby. It's delightful. In this video, I'll get you started in Final Cut Pro with the basics, including the right way to set up your project. Then I'll show you some editing keyboard shortcuts the pros love to use. And at the end, I'll show you how to make high quality videos with built-in titles, transitions, and effects. Let's get started. All right, so this is Final Cut Pro, and there's a few different sections. Over here on the left side is the browser. This is where your libraries, your events, your projects, your clips, titles, all that is stored. So Final Cut Pro has to have a library and an event open. A library is where you keep all of your events, and then events is where you keep all of your clips and your projects. So I usually like to use one library and then an event per video. And then within that event, I can have several projects or variations of that video. Right here, I have a tutorials library and then a tutorials event. And then inside, I've got all these different projects for each tutorial. And you can see I've got all my footage and pictures and sounds and music for the different projects. Okay, to get video into Final Cut Pro, you have to import it. You can go to File, Import, Select Media, or press Command-I for the shortcut. It'll bring up this import window here in the middle, and then just go find the footage that you want to import. So I have some footage in my downloads folder, right? So select the clips that you want to import, and then select which event you want them to be put in, or you can create a new event, and then click Import Selected. Final Cut Pro will do its thing, and it will add it to your browser here. The next section in Final Cut Pro is the timeline. This is where you're going to do all your editing. This is where you add your video clips, your pictures, your titles, your music, everything. And we'll get to that in just a minute. All right, this is the viewer. This is where you'll see the video you're making. And then to the right of it is the inspector. If you don't see the inspector open, just press this button here with the three sliders and you'll see it come up. And this is where you can make a lot of changes to your video clips. Final Cut Pro comes with a ton of built-in titles. Click on the Title Browser button up here, and you'll see a bunch of different titles in here you can play with. I'll go into more detail on the titles in just a little bit. You can also add effects down here or transitions to your videos. In just a bit, I'll show you my favorite shortcut for changing audio levels. All right, we have some footage. Let's start making our video. To add your footage to the timeline, you can just drag and drop it in or you can use some shortcuts. I can select my clip and press E to add it to the end of my timeline. Or I can move my playhead to where I want to attach it and press Q and it will connect it above the timeline. I can also insert it by moving my playhead where I want to add it and then pressing W. It'll split the clip in two and it will insert my video clip. I can overwrite stuff in the timeline by moving my playhead and pressing D. In the timeline, you can move clips around. Just select it and move it, and then the timeline will automatically move the other clips to make room for it. You can also change the duration of your clips by hovering over the end of them and dragging to make it shorter or longer. You can select your clip, press Control D, and you can enter a duration. Let's make this five seconds long. Five zero zero, press Enter. I can also move the connected clips around and change their duration just like any other clip. If you like your clip's duration but you want to change when it starts and ends, press T to bring up the trim tool and then click or drag to move the clip within its duration. All right, to go back to the selection tool, just press A. Now to split your clip, just put your playhead where you want to split it and press Command B and it will cut it into two different clips. You can also press B to go to the blade tool and then click wherever you want to cut that footage. And then you can move it around. All right, let's do some audio editing. I have a song in here and I want to change the volume level. In the timeline, I can hover over this audio line and drag it down or up to change the volume. 
And if I hold down Command while I do that, it changes it one decibel at a time. I like to use Control with plus and minus to change it. If I hold down Control and press minus, it changes the volume one decibel at a time. Or I can press plus to increase it one decibel at a time. I can also adjust the audio in the inspector. I can tweak the volume with this slider. If my audio has problems, I can use this audio enhancement. Just click on this little button here and then select enhance audio or press the shortcut control command A. Final Cut will analyze the audio and then if there's any problems, it will fix it. Look in here in the inspector under audio enhancements. The green check marks means it's been analyzed. And if there's a problem, then one of these sections will be enabled with a blue check mark and then the amount will be adjusted. You can edit audio just like you can video clips. You can split the clip by pressing Command B. You can trim the duration of it by clicking and dragging on the end of it. And it has these cool built-in audio fade handles. You'll see them at the beginning of the clip when you hover over it. It's this little circle and you just hover over it and you'll get this left and right arrow and then you can do a fade in or a fade out. See, Final Cut Pro is not that bad. It's pretty easy, right? If you're enjoying this video and it's helpful, will you please give it a like so other people will find it and they can learn how to use Final Cut Pro? Thanks. And coming up, I'll show you how to export your project in just two clicks. All right, let's add some titles to our project. Click on the title browser in the upper left corner and go to the social section and drag lower third fun onto your clips. And just like video clips, we can trim its duration in the same way. We can move it around. Let's put it here on the beginning of this clip and let's play it back. That's a nice little lower third that animates on. In the viewer, select the text and it'll bring up the text inspector. Here we can change our text if we want. We can change the font to something new. We can change the size of it as well. And down at the bottom under face, we can change the color. In the viewer, we can click on this text and drag it around and it will bring the box with it and move it wherever we want. If we go to the title inspector, we have some options in here. We can change the layout, we can change the size, and we can also change the colors. Let's try a light purple to a dark purple. Nice, let's play it back. It animates in, hangs on screen for a little bit, and then fades out. Final Cut Pro has a ton of titles. Play with them, explore. You're gonna find some really high quality graphics that came with Final Cut. Let's add some effects. Open up the effects browser and go down to the comic look section. You can add an effect by dragging and dropping it, or you can select your clip and then double click on the effect to add it. And check this out. Now we've got this kind of comic book look to this clip. If we select the clip and go to the video inspector, we'll see a section called effects and then we'll see our effect under it. We can adjust it even further with these different parameters. Let's try black and white. Nice, and let's smooth it out a little bit. There we go. Let's check it out. If I want to disable the effect, I just press this checkbox and it turns it off. If I want to remove the effect completely, I select the effect and I get this yellow box around it. You've got to click right up here on the top and then just press delete. Final Cut also comes with a ton of built-in transitions. Click on the transition browser and let's go down to the wipes category and drag and drop Chevron in between your clips. It'll create this transition. Nice. We can customize the transition. We can make it faster if we want. We can also select it, press Control D to change the duration. And if we select the transition, sometimes you'll see some on-screen controls. So for this one, we can change the angle of the chevron. We can also change the 
feather of it. Let's go real harsh like that and see what that looks like. Not that good. <laughs> Let's undo it and we'll go back to how it was before. You also can make some changes in the transition browser up here. So we can change the direction. Let's go left and we can change that edge treatment here. We can make it a little bit harder. And here's what we've got. Nice. All right, so now your video's done. You're ready to share it with the world. Go to the upper right corner, click on this share button, then click on export file, and then go to settings. Here you can change the format. We'll leave it at video and audio, and you can select the codec. We're gonna save it as an H.264. It's a smaller file size, but you do have all these options here. And then press next, name your file, and click save. Here's the video, let's check it out. We got our nice title that comes on screen. And then we cut to another clip and then we've got our sweet transition at the end. So now that video is ready to share anywhere. Now you can share your sweet video on YouTube, Facebook, or send it to your grandma for some instant validation. Love you, Gammy. Now, if grandma sends it back wanting more titles or graphics, don't worry, I got you. I put together a pack of over 90 animated symbols, titles, effects, transitions, and it's called the All-Star Pack. It's so packed with pro-level templates, it's worth $138, but you can have it for free. Just click the link in the description. Happy editing.